They built aircraft that could go into spots that no other aircraft could go in. It made places accessible that were never accessible before. There's nothing else that can do that job that successfully. It's so tough. They just don't build planes like that. You can always rely on the Beaver. There just isn't any airplane that uh, can do what a Beaver can do. It's a fun airplane to fly, and it gets in almost any place. It makes me happy to get in it, that's all I can say. Rows of old military planes rusting in the hot desert sun. But things are about to change for this de Havilland Beaver, affectionately known as Olivia. She's going to be restored, upgraded, and fit with the latest in aviation technology. Ted Giroux, director of aircraft maintenance and his team from Viking Air, arrive to disassemble Olivia and prepare her for her shipment to Canada. This is exciting because um... You know, it's not too often you see uh, an original military beaver that's been sitting around for decades in a desert just waiting to be uh, regenerated. If an airframe could talk, I'm sure this would have a lot to talk about. Ted plans to bring her back from the desert and update her to become the quintessential modern day beaver. You know, the, the notion that an airplane will wear out or there's some kind of age limit on an aircraft doesn't really make much sense anymore with the capabilities that we have uh, come up with for for restoration techniques well they're tough old birds and uh, given half a chance they can usually uh, be brought back from whatever happens to them a lot of the float planes have been to the bottom at least once or twice somebody will find one pull it out and put it back in the air Actor Harrison Ford is an avid pilot. He was so impressed with the plane that he chose to rescue his own military beaver and have it expertly restored. The first time I flew a beaver was uh, after I uh, agreed to do a film called Six Days, Seven Nights. 